Chapter One Origins. Mr. Special Blend is a tech specialist. He has a YouTube channel and occasionally streams. We are good friends. We met in high school and got along really well, and our friendship might be the strongest bond of my grad class. Chapter 2. Now let's spend forever talking about me. I deactivated my Facebook account a couple of days ago. I needed to free and clear my mind. I'm also going extra depresso, expresso lately. As I reflected, it has been going on for months now. I had a heart scare a while ago now, and it wasn't a heart attack, but it was serious, and it could have hurt me if I hadn't made the choice to go to the emergency room at the hospital as early as I did. I had a layer of fluid around my heart, and it was congested. They thought I could have had, or I should have had a cold recently, and this was a symptom, but I had no other cold-like symptoms. I also got weighed for the first time in a long time while I was there. I was 185 kilograms at that time. That was about 400 pounds. I shouldn't have to tell you that that is an alarming number. I ended up staying in the hospital for two nights. I watched a lot of TLC on an old CRT monitor that they had. I watched way too many episodes of Sister Wives, and I got to watch my 600-pound life. It was a very eye-opening, and I'm only 200 pounds away from being on TV, baby. I never got to see the show, but I also got to see ads for 90 Day Fiancé. I'm not in a relationship currently, and I am looking, and I am so hopeless it would be hilarious that anybody would be desperate enough to feign interest in me, even with the possibility to immigrate to Canada attached to my dick. People told me in the past that I need to love myself before I could find love. This always bummed me out. But it was obvious to me when I write my thoughts down that I don't 100% love myself. Chapter 3. My Art My art sucks. I'm not sure why I'm even trying. I've been taking a few weeks off now from painting. I've, I've painted here and there. I actually haven't finished anything though, and I've but I have filled two eighty-page notebooks, double-sided. That's like a hundred and sixty images of whatever the hell I drew. More bad art, really. I have sixty-nine finished eight by ten stretched canvases, completed oil canvases, and various quality because I've you know, pretty much learning. I have three in various states of completeness at this moment. I'm contemplating the future of the series, the art, the 100. I'm thinking I want to publish a book of 100 portraits, a journey and schooling by doing 100 pages with a write-up and measurement kind of like an archive and potentially an affordable way to share my art to those who want it. It might be a very small run and potentially valuable later in the future, as I'll probably end up having to pay for it myself, and money is tight. It always is. I'm on disability. Before that, I was briefly on welfare. And before that, I was doing a shitty job working in television, but I kept having to take time off for my mental health, and I was not a reliable part-time employee. I was fired. And my income from my job at that time was being supplemented by employment insurance because when I took the time off, they had to replace me so that I didn't have the full the regular hours to go back to. When I was fired, my employment insurance was stopped at the same time. I was on EI for my mental health. I got fired over my mental health, so they stopped my employment insurance at the same time. And to say it was detrimental to my mental health. I had booked a video shoot that same day and ended up actually doing the shoot. GP does PG. It would have been one of the last ones, but I never finished it. I could never edit it. I wish I still had the video footage, but it was on my computer that had a hard drive crash, making it impossible for me to create content at all. 
no content creating. I ended up getting on welfare and then disability. I ended up having to sell half my vinyl record collection to pay for the iMac Mini I use to create my content on now. I don't regret it. I had a lot of vinyls, and I kept lots. All the ones with memories attached. And it helped my hoarding. A lot. And getting my iMac Mini was and is pretty much everything to me, sadly. <laughs> Without it, I would be living a very different life. For the next 30 or 25 of my portraits, the final 30 or 25 portraits, I'm going to be upping the sizes with 10 being slightly bigger size than the 8x10 and then 10 being fairly big and then 5 or maybe even 10 as big as I could buy at my local mega store, the Walmart of art stores. I'm leaning towards 5 because they're expensive and I already have two behind me. They're ready to go. And that brings us to uh, chapter four, something I haven't really prepared too much for, but I felt I left a, a little bit of shit. I stopped everything. I stopped everything, even the raps. So this one goes out to Mr. Special Blend. But then again, it's going to be all about me, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Special Blend. Hey, GB here, down to lay a track Laying down truth bombs, big with the mind not sack I've been sad that each three families is done Bitter, but still, it was a good run I still think Zack sucks for hating fucking CCR Who do you think invented the fucking electric guitar? Passion about my hate is pure from my heart H3 Zack will laugh when he blows off fart Going to make videos as an editorial Opinion first to make whose mem memorials Growing up thinking I was underloved I fit in like OJ Simpson's glove Don't get me wrong, I was born and love was the norm Others have declined and made it feel less warm I want to travel America like Beavis and Butthead Thinking I'll bring my paintbrush and paint the canvas red I need a high-end competent art dealer So I can afford and hire a THC healer a big track here. Let me just take a moment to get into the groove. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? Time to lay down some truth bombs. I'm addicted to weed. It's never enough. I'll never stop and know it's not a bluff. Simple skills like playing with paint Wanna make a good girl pretty enough to faint Video game donkey is the all time greatest But soon I'll know I'll be the latest I am the piece of peace of mind And all y'all wanna get this behind Smiles of the clown come off as all authentic Robin Williams was really mentally sick When I see you I get genuinely happy Mental health and even, even making me rabby Wait till he hit track 4, you will be on the floor Rolling, laughing, hysteric, asking for more Yes, I'll be announcing a comedy album But then I'll spit out your scum Now, is this performance art? Would you rather be watching me fart? It's a killer way to land a laugh And it's cheaper than alcohol or gas I'm the master of walking on milk crates Highlight of the party for the mates it's worse than a Chevy Chase Pratt fall, but then again, monetize nature's call. That's the end of my rap notes. Now I'm freestyling and the song here he wrote. That's all. Goodbye. The end. Subscribe. And then I'm all alone again. <laughs>